Hello everybody, my name is No Particular and welcome back to another video. And today we're gonna be going over the Vera Concepts backpack, so let's get into it. All right, so I know some of y'all are thinking, this video already got posted, yes, but the audio in there wasn't, there was a slight glitch, I don't even know what happened, I think it was probably just my own stupidity, where the music was way too loud for it to even be usable, period. Um, so I decided, after I got back from the UK, because I just had a little four day excursion uh, to see friends and stuff, I would figure that I would just review it anyway. So I'm actually in my living room. I just didn't feel like going up to my office, set it up, because I'm kind of lazy. I literally like, just got back from the airport like 10 minutes ago. So let's start off with the backpack. So it's made by Vera Concepts, and some of y'all that have might've been watching for a while have heard that name before. Vera Concepts is the same company that also makes my belt that I wear for both for pretty much primarily real steel, but also airsoft on the side. They're an Indonesian brand, so naturally that kind of raises a few red flags as far as quality. However, I've been running that belt for two years in February, so about a year and a half. I haven't had any issues with it, period. To be honest, because it's a belt, there's not really a whole lot of failure points except the buckle itself. But again, there's been no reason for me to replace it. I was gonna replace it anyway. It's so far that belt hasn't proven wrong, and so far with this, even just after that four-day excursion, it's still pretty good quality. So let's get on some of the features. So as you can see, the DNC, they offer a multitude of other camouflage options. I'll probably include those over here. It does come with a three by five patch base. I threw on this white phosphorus moth. Can't remember the actual name of it, but I enjoy it with the patch, plus it looks interesting with the black against all the green. Um, it is a 14 liter backpack. It's kind of thick, that's mainly because I filled it up with a bunch of stuff because I'm not that good at packing. Um, so I just kind of stuffed everything into this. I was much, it was much more organized at the start of the trip, so I'm just not very good. But this thing held up really well for a four day, three and a half technically, uh, trip. Um, it wasn't like backpacking or hiking under that. It was simply a me back up with friends that I haven't seen in a couple months and just say hi because I can. Um, and this did phenomenally well. It's a backpack. It's, again, there's not really a whole lot of failure points outside of like a strap breaking, zippers breaking. None of that happens. Uh, fabric tearing. None, again, none of that happened. It held up wonderfully. I was I was really happy with the performance. I was really happy with it being comfortable as I walked around the airport. I enjoyed it. So to go over sort of the more in detail kind of things, it has three pockets in total. Um, this top pocket here is like passport, smaller items. I threw like my charging cords and stuff in here along with like a battery pack. Um, this big pocket on the side back here, I use for a lot of like flat items. So I have this um, Django, Dango, sorry, um, like passport wallet thing here that I've used for a while um, and I enjoy that. And then on the sides, it has these two expandable water, water bottle holders. It will fit, if the bag itself isn't too full, it will fit two Nalgene bottles just fine. So there you got like two liters of water. Um, but if the bag is packed, I could probably only fit like a standard size, like I think it's 16 or 18 ounce water bottle in it. It is what it is. Um, then two compression straps on either side so it can get compressed. This will fit and did fit underneath the airplane seat. So it is good for not paying extra easy jet to use the overhead compartments. Um, and the main thing with the backpack is that I actually, I was gonna buy them anyways, but one thing that actually turned out to be really beneficial is these travel organizers. This, I'm probably not gonna do a review on these. So this one I had for an extra pair of shoes. I had my chakras in there. Um, shaving kit, that was like socks and underwear, and there's actual clothes. I certainly enjoy it, but to get onto the big um, picture, I don't know if you can see it, hopefully you can. There's not any interior pockets in any of these pockets. There's no like interior, there's no like um, dividers. There is, I guess technically a laptop sleeve in here. It's not meant for a hydro bladder because there's nowhere to stick out the hose outside of just the zippers. Um, so I think it'd probably be at best for a laptop holder or something of similar use. So files, folders, whatever, um, and stuff like that. So it's a big old pocket. One thing that I wish Vera Concepts did was put Velcro, so this is much more of that sort of like polyester, almost plasticky kind of feel. Um, I really wish the inside of this was Velcro because I know a lot of guys run like first aid kits with Velcro on them so that way it's a tear away kind of thing. I would have loved to see that. If they did it for their sec, if they ever made a second gen backpack, I'd love to see it like that. Um, but so far, 
good notes. I'd like to see it along with interior pockets, period. But I'm sure there's, some, there's a couple reasons like cost saving or whatever that prevent them from not doing that. But overall, the one modification I did make is on the bottom here. And the one thing I did, if you do backpack a lot or you travel a lot, you'll know that one of the biggest things that always take up space are hoodies. Um, hoodies, jackets, shoes, those are like the three big things that always take up the most space. Shush, Xbox. Um, that always take up the most space in the backpack. So what I did, I just bought nylon webbing just off of Amazon along with these buckles and snaps and I just wove them through the molly down here. And so whenever it was too hot to wear this hoodie, I simply rolled it up and then just clipped it underneath um, and just kept them there. And some of the nylons are starting to separate. It's not very good nylon. Anyways, so um, the back does have a chest strap. I didn't use it. I didn't need to. Um, the straps are pretty padded. This is very much very similar to a school backpack. It's 14 liters, so it's around that sort of area. What else? Um, the cost. So the cost I think was about 92, 95 bucks. And then plus shipping was like 15. So overall I paid about 110 ish for this backpack. They got to me pretty quick. I think these were a made to order thing. So I waited, I think six to eight weeks to get it, which is fine. I have other backpacks. I just really wanted to see how this one would do. And I was excited to see the company make something I can use for everyday carry, like an everyday sort of use beyond tactical purposes. Um, what else, what else, what else? I wouldn't wear this backpacking. Naturally, you look at it, it's camo, the sleeves are padded. I would not wear this hiking. If I knew that I was going hiking, I wouldn't, or I would had to walk long distances and of course there's situations and all that. Um, I wouldn't choose to wear this for more than five miles, if even. I would much rather just wear a hiking backpack. This is very much meant to be your everyday walking on the town kind of backpack. I would not wear this hiking. I would not take this backpacking in a rural environment on like a trail, whatever. I wouldn't take this if I knew I was going packing. Of course, there's that what if kind of thing. If there was like, what if shit hit the fan and I had like three minutes to pack everything, I would choose this backpack purely for the fact of my hiking backpacks in storage. So if all I did was just start shoving clothes, shoving supplies and everything in there, I would pick this backpack. Um, but if I knew I was going backpacking or I knew I was going hiking, I would not choose this backpack. Um, not for quality purposes, just the fact that it's not built to be a hiking backpack. Um, there's no frame. Again, it's, it's very much, think of a more tactical Gucci gear school backpack. I don't think that's a ding on quality. Some people might find that an insult. I certainly am more than happy with this kind of quality. It, like I said before, it is 14 liters, so you can, and for about 112, 115 bucks, it does seem expensive for the size of it. However, if you look at some of the other stuff on the tactical market, as far as backpacks go, they can get exponentially more expensive. Like if you look at the, I think it's the LVT 14 liter, I think that's hitting more. I don't know the exact price, I'm not about to say an exact price. Um, I would give this thing overall an eight out of 10. The big thing, the big, the, the bigger things that I would knock it off those two points is again, the Velcro on the inside, that's a little bit more particular for me, but also for the lack of interior pockets. I'm not talking extreme. I'm not talking like an interior wardrobe system or an organizer system. I'm talking like a thing for a pen pocket, a thing for like miscellaneous small items. That way they don't necessarily always fall in the bag. I'm talking like stuff that you could see that would that's made to hold like a small notebook pens, a power charger, stuff like that. Like like basic stuff, I would enjoy to see that, but that's not what Vera was going for, so they didn't do it, which is fine. It's just not my cup of tea. If I knew how to put those in, I totally would. But as of right now, I'm not gonna stop using this backpack because of it. I just know that some people might find that a little bit of a deal breaker if that is your kind of thing. Like if you do run in tech and there's not the ability to organize stuff inside, they might, this might turn them away and that's fine. Then that, that clearly isn't for them. This backpack clearly isn't for them. I had to ask Vera Concepts for pictures in the inside because they weren't available. I still don't think they're available to see on their website as you're like clicking through the cameras and stuff. Um, so I'll see if I can include pictures. If I can't get anything good, I'll probably just show you. So the this side pocket runs all the way um, to the other end of the pouch. This pocket on top runs 
probably three, four inches in. And then this massive backpack is, of course, just this giant pocket. Again, three out of, uh, eight out of 10. I shouldn't recommend it. If y'all want have anything more y'all want me to review, let me know. I'm more than happy to do so. Thanks for watching. If y'all have any more ideas for videos, have any more recommendations, tips, tricks, or things, or your own experience on this backpack, if you did buy it, let me know again down in the comments and let's have a discussion. Thanks for watching. Also, to those that stayed to the end of the video, the angle is different. Yes, I know. I also turned off my overhead light. Put, we need another word. Put the word rock in the comments if you're still here to the end. I just really want to confuse the crap out of people who don't. Thanks.